Hello, people of the internet. This is Awad bringing you another one of my video game commentaries. Today is the first episode of Mighty Mind Monday, where I present different philosophers' views and my opinions on them. Today, we'll be discussing Voltaire and Leibniz, and their different philosophical views. Voltaire was a French philosopher and author of the Enlightenment period. He became one of France's greatest philosophers and authors due to his amazing intelligence, wit, and style, as well as the fact that he was such a controversial figure, full of confidence and courage, going so far as to attack influential figures such as the French monarchy and the Catholic Church in his different works, such as his plays, poetry, novels, essays, historical and scientific works, letters, books, and pamphlets. As a result of this, he was exiled and lived away from France for a number of years, which is around the time that he chose to write a number of his works under different pseudonyms, such as for um, Candide, his pseudonym was actually Mr. Dr. Ralph. Very creative, I know. In these different works, Voltaire is remembered as, in my opinion, one of the greatest, if not the greatest, polemicist, or one who argues against another work, in all of history. With such valiant goals as civil liberties and justice, Voltaire was not simply a, re a rhetorician, but he was a champion for those without voices. His message, his message has withstanded the test of time, since injustice and inequality are still prevalent in today's society. His method of delivery was irony and satire, in an effort to shine light on the dark corners of society that usually go unnoticed. His works such as Candide still last today, since these two art forms, again irony and satire, have made a comeback in today's society, as evidenced by the popularity of shows like South Park and Family Guy, and even though shows such as The Colbert Report and The Daily Show with Jon Stewart have higher followings than standard network news channels such as CNN, ABC, or even Fox News. Many of you may know Gottfried Leibniz as one of the founding fathers of calculus, along with Sir Isaac Newton. However, what you may not know is that Leibniz was also a German theorist and philosopher who developed the system of optimism and arguments for the existence of God. For the existence of God, he furthered Descartes' proof which was that God is a being having all perfections, that existence itself is a perfection, and therefore, as a result, God has to exist, by um, a study known as ontology, which is the physical, philosophical study of the nature of being, becoming, existence, or reality, as well as the basic categories of being and their relations. Many of you may think of optimism, as simply looking to the future happily, or hoping for the best. But Leibniz's system of optimism was that this world is the best of all possible worlds. He came to this conclusion via a study of nature. Voltaire, however, completely disagreed with Leibniz in all of his works, especially Candide, going so far as to call optimists, as defined by Leibniz, foolish, by such as how he personified the ideal in the book that I just named Candide, as a character named Pangloss, who, in the beginning of the book, lives a lavish lifestyle as the tutor of a baron's family. From this moment, his catchphrase seems to always be that we are, quote, in the best of all possible worlds, end quote, which directly echoes Leibniz's views. So clearly, Voltaire is commenting on his contemporary Leibniz. Soon after, however, he underwent a number of tragic and terrible events, and by he I always say mean Pangloss, from near death to contracting syphilis, causing him to lose an ear and other body parts, and becoming, um, which caused him to become skeptical of this system of optimism that he's always held so high above all other things. Through Pangloss's character, Voltaire was able to paint all optimists as foolish, for believing that this world isn't harsh. However, Voltaire does seem to make an effort to avoid Pascal's pessimism as well, in which Pascal taught that this is the worst of all possible worlds. 
overall, I personally feel as though I have to dis um, disagree with Leibniz and agree with Voltaire due to the fact that his views are far more logical in today's society, since unwarranted optimism is nothing if it isn't foolish, since this world is definitely a harsh place that can only go where your way if you work hard towards your goals with all of your might, and even then, it isn't a surefire thing that things will go in your way. Thanks. This has been Mighty Mind Monday with Howard. So, until next time, don't go changing.